welcome back to S House Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk to you about the noodles that we use when we go catfishing. One of the, uh, what we ended up finding out that works the best and is cheapest is this little guy here. And we even found some little lights that we can put on there. So when it's nighttime, we can see them little things bobbing in the water. So. You figure we spent on the pool noodles, we got nine of them at 50 cents each. So that's $4.50. And uh, I got 36 10 aught octopus hooks, and I paid just under 17 for that. And then 175 yard, and I went ahead and got 80 pound line. I spent about 17 on that. So roughly, we're spending around 91 cents for one of these to get a line in the water. So and that that ends up making 36 noodles that you can fish with, and sure you don't need that many to put a couple of nice slabs in the boat. So I'm going to show you real quick what I do to make these. If you can find a good quality hanger. And then what you do is you nip off that center bit, find you a pair of lineman pliers, and just go ahead and cut that piece off. Once you take that piece off, just take your lineman's and start at one side and you just straighten it the best you can and then once you get both sides straightened you take that four foot noodle with the straighten and cut it down into one foot sections and you just run that up through one side of your noodle. You gotta be careful not to poke through the outside or the inside of the tube. You gotta kind of mush the tube a little bit to direct the direct it in there. And then once you get it through, go to the other side. You bend yourself a little box. So I don't know if you can see that. Put it against my shirt, maybe. Then you back it out and cut off your extra that you're not going to need. Take it and push it through the other side. And that is where you're going to tie off your line. Now we got this piece sticking out. That's where you take this and you bend it back over and run it through the top. And that's the piece that's going to stop it from coming right off your noodle. You want to make sure that you got a good grip in it. And once you get it through, make it to where it's not going to pierce out the side. And you got yourself your noodle ready to go. So on this one here, I went ahead and cut a piece about eight foot long. And I just take that, take the line, double it over, just put a loop in it, pull it through. 
do. Come on. And pull that tight. And uh, once you got that tight, go back where you started. You fish that through the metal, pull your loop out, stick your tag in through the loop, and pull out the slat. And then I always take that knot and push the knot through. So that way, it looks like that. right there then if you make your own lead weights or you order some cheap weights the holes not always good in them so to get around that if you got a piece of steel leader I don't know if you can see that put that up there just cut a little piece of steel leader off you take that and you got that loop in that steel leader. Sometimes you gotta take and kind of light that end up, flatten it down, and you put it straight through that little loop there and pull you some slack. Then you got a little piece of that steel leader sticking out the end of your weight. Take your lineman. pull that through then once you get that through you gotta pull the other end that you melted pull that through go ahead and take your then I normally give about a foot for your weight you don't need much weight three quarters of an ounce is fine depending on what kind of water you got the water here where I fish it doesn't move terribly fast so just tie that on however you want whatever kind of knot you want then at this end here all I do for the hook I mean you can tie a fancy snail or whatever kind of knot you want but I use that same knot and the reason I use that knot is if anything goes wrong it's real quick and easy to change hooks or whatever when you're in the boat so and we got a couple different size hooks here that right there you can see that one that's 10 knot then that's an 8 aught, and I use the octopus hooks, and they're already bent and offset. I do that before I put them on anything, and I just take that loop, squish it through the eye, the back of the eye. put that around the hook and then once you get that around the hook you're good to go uh, the state that we're in is Missouri and they require that you mark all your noodles with your particular information and everything so anyway when you get done you wrap it up you put your hook in and you're ready to go drop those in your favorite fishing hole and give a little bit and I use 8 foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, 15 foot sometimes I'll go to 5 foot and I have them pre-made and I'll know where I'm going before we head out so we'll just take the, the depth that I know for that specific area and uh, 
cut your shad up, put your shad on them, and get out there. But spring's around the corner. I went ahead and got the snagging rod ready to go. I'm getting the noodles ready to go, so that way I don't have to mess with it this summer. So anyway, thank you for joining me, and hopefully that kind of explains my uh, pool noodle video that I have on YouTube already. So thanks for joining S House Outdoors, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button.